Stephen Dawkins, famous atheist, recently said in an interview that he would prefer to, or for, yeah, for society to hold on to Christian values and traditions. And as the question was kind of in the context of London being overwhelmed with mosques and Muslims, and he was just kind of addressing the question of, of Muslim culture, and he would much rather prefer Christian culture. And he kind of gave the example of Christmas, Christmas carols, um, the kind of what everything that comes with this Christian culture that we kind of would just grew up with in the West. And it reminded me of, of how people, people like Christianity in that sense. They think it's, it's something, it's, it's nice, it's needed, it's necessary. If we were to drop Christian values, things would go like haywire. And I think people, they, they understand that and they see that and they kind of like it because it is a nice thing. Uh, just kind of in light of a conversation that we were having recently, uh, with a poll that was made whether, you know, a new school needed to have an ethos basically of the state or an ethos of a, a well-known religious order, which would be very typical in the country. And the majority of the people wanted the religious school. And the, just in the conversation, you know, it kind of seemed like something very positive and very good. And telltaling, oh, look at people like the faith, people like Christianity. And just the next kind of idea that, that sprang from that was, was kind of also the idea that the bishop of this particular place in the diocese has also been kind of, seems year in and year out, repeating and kind of taken as his, his angle, which he seems to be kind of like, you know, he's doing this through the years. So he'd do it with the first years, and then he'll do it with the six years, he'll do it with the first years and the six years. And it's kind of like the idea of leaving the boys with this option that Christianity, at the end of the day, it's just, listen, you know, at the end of the day, it's not a bad option to take. And I, just the whole thing sat, sat really, sat really wrong with me. I mean, Dawkins and like this poll of people in Christianity, this was whatever, that doesn't really, that's, I can understand that. But like coming from a bishop is where I think it just didn't sit right with me. I don't think it is right. I don't think that's correct to say. Um, I don't think it's correct to say for a practicing Catholic. I'd say it's even worse for a shepherd, a priest to be saying that, and then it just even gets worse as you get higher up. I think the worst possible thing you could do is, is you could have a bishop saying that. Because the bishop is the apostle for us. He's like the leader of the church here, and he's like the visible head. And him telling generations and young people that at the end of the day, think about it, it's really not a bad option. Christianity is actually a nice thing. I mean, look at the look at the what it does, what it does to culture. Look at the carols and you know, like how it makes people nice. Yeah, uh, okay. Like, un obviously, understanding he's talking to people who have zero faith. Like, I understand who he's talking to because we would be talking to them as well. Like, you understand, but. That's not doing anybody any good. And the worst thing is that it has to, it is coming from that high up. It's not doing anybody good because that's exactly what the problem is in this country. They love the option, um, especially when it comes time to baptize their baby. They love that that option's there because they love christening. And what, do they love that this little baby's becoming a child of God and he's getting a seal and that they're going to have to bring him up in the faith and the godparents are going to do the same? I, look, I'll leave that to people's judgment. I, I know they love the, 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 the restaurant, I know the party, the bouncy house, like that's just facts. Uh, they love confirmation. We passed a limousine the other day in Ireland, like a limousine in Ireland. And putting two and two together when the months of, con of confirmations it was probably a limousine for a confirmation party, just putting two and two together. Or a wedding, which is also extremely handy. It's a great option to have that priest there for the wedding. The funeral, it's unthinkable to have a funeral without a priest. So Christianity obviously is a nice thing. But that is exactly where we're going wrong. We're putting Christianity as a nice 
option that everybody at the end of the day, you know, they like it there in its place. And it's better that it's there. You know, they don't want it to go away. We'll make the school Christian. You know, we'll keep the carols. We'll keep the country Christian. And we'll keep it as a good option. You see, like, it's a perfect example of all this is, you know, like I said, it is difficult because you're talking in front of people that are that are not practicing Christians. They don't have a clue. But if that's the best you can come up with, and if that's what they remember, that that's like your angle, that's really bad. Because that's what the way it came across is like that's that's what he, he gets across to the, the kids, you know. And the example that we have today is Saint Paul, who's in a very very sticky situation because he's he's between the the, the Jews uh, that are that want to condemn him. The Jews finally come together, even though they are divided between the Sadducees and the Pharisees. That Paul needs to be put to death. And Paul's very on the ball in the moment. He knows how to work and play his cards, and he does. He works them in the moment. But he doesn't deny the truth, and he doesn't deny Christ. It see, it's, just, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's what he's saying. We have to be, he's always, he's always going back to this. We just have to be illuminated and wise in the moment, and we're, and we're preaching a person. You see, if we're preaching a person, the personality will take care of things, and he'll come out. We're not preaching something that every single time about how this is a great option. That's just, I'll hope, and I'll put that into, I'll suspend my judgment, hopefully, which even though I just didn't, and I did just judge the bishop, but it's something that we've been seeing, and I think it is the problem in this country. We've bent down um, for fear, and we just have to keep things kind of easy going. Keep things easy going. Everybody's happy with that. It actually sounded pretty good, and we'll move on. Christianity has always, as Dorothy Day said, um, it's always afflicted the comfortable. It's always something that will can afflict the comfortable and then comfort the afflicted. It's true. That's the other side of the coin that she says. But in this case, we do have to have that in mind, that this isn't just an option, a, you know, not a bad option. It's not just something nice to have. He's a person, and he's, and, he's, and he's breaking the molds of this world. So we always have to be conscious that we're not conforming to the molds of this world, but we're letting him conform us and even breaking in sometimes to these different molds. So may that be our intention today as we continue with this Mass and get ready for Pentecost so that the Holy Spirit can come in us and always, always be our guide so we know when to speak, when not to speak, and at all moments know how to speak and that it always be Him in us. Hopefully, please, God, speaking through us. Amen.